Hey everybody, we're back with John Oliver, star of Paramount Plus's new Last Week Tonight. We had heard that you were uh, that you had wanted your show to really be the Muppet Show, and so yeah, we, we did. We, my producer gave you the BuzzFeed yes. which Muppet are you test, but we did not yeah. give you the answer. Can you? Yeah. We we have the answer here as to who who you ended up being. Do you want to make a guess as to which Muppet you ended up being? And these tests are. Ironclad, you understand? Oh, we know that. It's a, it's a, it's a BuzzFeed test. Those are always peer reviewed. This is the PCR. This is the BuzzFeed PCR Muppet test, not that instant spit test. This is the real deal. I, th I think BuzzFeed works with the Lancet at times. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I mean, I, I would like to be Rolf. I would like to be Gonzo. I, I do probably believe there is a beaker inside of me. So I, 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 I was somewhere on the spectrum between Gonzo and Beaker. Kidding me. You're Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy? You're Miss Piggy. You are bold and confident. You have every reason to be. You know what you want in life, and you get out there and you make it happen for yourself. You have great style and wit. You can charm the heck out of just about anybody. You fight fiercely for the people you care about, and you always stand up for what you believe in. That's John Oliver. That's like it's like staring in a mirror right now for you. I absolute I love it's a massive compliment. I do not have the sexual confidence of a Miss Piggy. Do you have the sexual confidence to play the viola? Because I have heard for years now, for years now, I've been waiting for you to break out the viola, which I know you know how to play. You, know. you, you spent years playing the viola. This is true, correct? I did. I played the, I played the viola all the way through high school. Is this the year I... that last week tonight you, you break out the viola and serenade all of us? What's the best song you could play? For those of you who don't know, uh, viola is like a violin, but useless. No, hey, Just hey, absolutely, hey, 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 hey. you can shingle hey. a roof with one. That's about wrong. it. Completely wrong. The tone of an orchestra would be shifted unless you had a few people thrown in there playing a viola, which is like, like, like a violin, but a string lower. If you can't play the violin with any flair, then you can fill the sound of an orchestra by just droning on a viola. And that, that was my job. And, and what's your go-to tune, if you had to? Turkey and I mean, straw? The thing is, what do you... the, the, be the better I got at... At the viola, the worse I realized I was. So that's the problem. When you get good, you start to be given incredible pieces of music, like the Bach double concerto. Spectacular. And I think I realized as, as I played that, I realized how bad I was. Because in your head, you know how you want it to sound, but your, your fingers can't do it. So you end up wanting to smash it against the wall like a significantly less cool Pete Townsend. I don't know. I think it would be pretty cool to see you smash a viola. Will you do that this year? I just never. Actually, I've never seen any proof that you have any. There's a lot of bragging. I've heard a lot of big talk about you yeah. and violas over the oh, years. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I will say, I was just thinking. I don't know why Yo-Yo Ma has never ended a concert by just smashing it all over the stage. That's it. Uh, yeah, because it's not a Gibson off the line. <laughs> you know, I was absolutely terrified. Of, pl of playing the viola in front of people. That was the thing. I was, I was always fine with kind of performing, and yet any concert at school, I was petrified because I think deep down I knew I was terrible. What was the, what's the most terrified you've ever been in any performance at all? Like, what's the, what's the most scared you've been to, like, open your mouth and start a performance? Honestly, it probably wasn't that. Any time I was opening my mouth, I was okay. Playing music, I was absolutely... How about singing? Don't... Oh. Um, I mean, I, I never kind of tried to... I, I always kind of did the comic song. In musicals, I was always kind of ostracised as, oh, you can do the funny song, you know, because it doesn't involve any range or yeah. natural vocal timbre, and you can act like the whole thing's a joke, even though you couldn't actually do the thing that you are making fun of. <laughs> so that you didn't scare I mean? you either. So that didn't scare <laughs> you either. That was what, no. So you don't get nervous before you go on stage? Not, I think it's been battered out of me. You know, when you do stand up, I never did it. You, yeah, but the thing is, like, you, your failures are so visceral, right? So sure. personal that once you've bombed a hundred times, you know, it's it's, lo it's lots of people's true nightmare, right? Yeah. They think I can't think of anything worse in life than being on stage and bombing. Once it's happened to you a hundred times, audiences lose their capacity to hurt you, and so you just. It, you just, you just become a shell of a person. You realize, oh, 
there was nothing, there was nothing uh, extra interesting about bombing in Birmingham. I just bombed in Liverpool. Doesn't matter. Now, that, that, then, so the follow-up question obviously is, if bombing loses any special pain, does scoring, just like killing in the room, lose any special high then? No, that's, I mean... <laughs> And what no, I'm asking is, is, do you care if the audience is there at all? What I'm getting is <laughs> well, that this is a purely yeah. masturbatory affair for you. I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest. My shift to an audience of the shows has been easier than most. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, these jokes are killing. <laughs> no, I'm just no. destroying every no. night. In, in my mind, my jokes are bombing. I, I assume silence, so I'm not shocked when it comes. Mm. That's nice. Well, John, is, is there anything else that's on your mind? Is there anything, is there anything perhaps about your eighth season coming up you'd like us to know about? That's eight um, seasons yeah. over how many years? Eight. Okay. That works eight, out. Yeah. But you know these Six days, years. we're like on season 27 of Bachelorette, and it's been on for like four years. You know yeah, that no. it doesn't mean anything anymore. No. No, no, we really stick to the one season, one year Good process. for you. Good it's, for you. It's just so much easier that way for moments like this. All right. Is there, is there anything you'd like people to know about your upcoming season? Um, I mean, just that it's on again. Um, if, you, if you liked the show previously, um, I, I hope you will enjoy it. If you, if you really hated it, honestly, I wouldn't give it a second chance. Um, no resampling. You've, ma you've, you've made your decision. Uh, that's, that's fair. Comedy is subjective. I don't think if it's, it's materially changed enough uh, for you to like something that, that, you, that you previously despised. So I, I give it a miss. I disagree. I think no matter what, give it another chance. And, and you know, it's a great way for people to sample Paramount Plus. Be a great way for people to climb the mountain. Well, John, uh, a pleasure as always. I'm being told we have to go. Mark is making, making, Mark is actually just shaking his head and saying, do whatever you want. I'm the one pretending that it's time to go. Uh, always a delight. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another 24 minutes or whatever this was. Whatever, you got nothing to do. Come on. All, all, all I'll say is I just, uh, I just want to apologize uh, to your editors and Godspeed. Thank you. Season eight of Last Week Tonight starts this Sunday on HBO. John Oliver, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Ingrid Andrus. Goodbye, John Oliver. <laughs>